Okay, guys. I'm gonna try to. Hopefully, this turns out all right. I'm gonna try to get this in here pretty good. But uh, I'll start out. I'm not affiliated with OEM or AutoZone. I have nothing to do with neither company. So this is my own review on this tool. I am not affiliated with either company at all, AutoZone or OEM. Okay, with that out of the way, I thought Clay was going to screw this up for me the other night. He come pretty close to it. But him and I talked about getting this light. He has this light and he loves it. So, he and I talked about it. I went out. Uh tried the website he gave me, it didn't work, called him up, had to go through AutoZone. My God, AutoZone, everybody's going to be different, we know that, but my guy hooked me up, okay. Uh, it's 600 lumens, a six hour run time on high. Uh, Yeah, it's 13.4 uh, inches long, USB port charged, 100% uh, is 600 lumens, 50% is 300 lumens, 10% is 50 lumens, and then you got a strobe and SOS on it. It is rechargeable, it is micro USB, you got your on off button. I love this thing. I mean, I played with this thing last night. I got two 60 watt light bulbs in the light here in the kitchen. Too cold to be outside, sorry. And this thing, absolutely just freaking on high and medium outshines 120 watts. So there's low, there's off. Here we go high medium, low, hold in on the button, you got your strobe, sorry about that fellers, you hold it, hold in on it, and you got your SOS. This light is totally, as Clay Coon would say, freaking awesome. The only thing I would see that I would do different on this is your port where you charge it has no cover. I can see dirt or something getting in there and screwing something up. That feels pretty durable. I mean, it's plastic, aluminum. It's got four strong magnets on it. I mean, these things, these babies are strong. And it looks like it's got a couple of loops down here where you can probably put hangers on it on both ends uh, like I said I just got it I've been playing with it last night and I said I'd do a review on it uh, and I haven't got it in, out into a working environment yet I've got a, a LED light out there that I use now, but this baby right here, I wish I would have had this years ago. I'm telling you now, I wish I really would have had this years ago when I was doing what Clay's doing, working on semis, working on heavy equipment. Yeah, it's 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 streamlined. And it's long, and you got magnets to it. But I'm pretty sure that this thing will get into where you need it to get into and either lay it there or hook it to something with the magnets uh, I'm not going to discuss the price on it I refuse to do that uh, like I said my guys hooked me up and they didn't have to do what they did they went over and beyond what I expected out of them okay uh, you can go to OEM, this thing's got OEM, 
www.oemtools.com on the end of it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Part number. Part number is two five nine nine seven. It's right there. Two five nine nine seven. It's also right here. Two five nine nine seven. I played with it pretty good last night. I had some fun with it, with, with my cats with it. Really drove them insane. But like I said, I wish I'd have had this here years ago when I was still working on semis and heavy equipment and stuff. Because I'm pretty sure this thing will take a beating and keep on ticking. Uh, and it is bright. This thing is bright. It's built tough. I'll, I'm going to enjoy using this. I'm, I really am. I'm going to enjoy using this when it warms up outside and I can get back into, into tinkering around on stuff. So I thought I'd put this little short video out here on this. I got uh, two more to do, three more videos to put out yet. Uh, two on tools and one on something else. So we'll see you in the other one. In the next video, uh, and I hope y'all, and I hope I did good on this one because this, this, like I said, this light is just phenomenal. Uh, six hour runtime on high. Uh, I sat here and read this thing. Medium fifty percent, three hundred lumens. You get ten hours of runtime. Uh, fit at ten percent, fifty lumens. You get 54 hours of runtime. I mean, come on. For a light like this, I'm telling you, it's six hours, and it don't take that long to charge it either. It comes, it comes already charged, and I put it on charger just for a little bit to get make sure that I had a full charge on it, and it was, it didn't take long. It comes with your USB. It comes with a USB cord, but it doesn't come with the end that plugs into the wall, which is no big deal. Inside of my toolbox, I got USB ports. Uh, I also have plugs on the side of my box, and in my garage, I got plugs everywhere. So, it's charging. It's no big deal. But uh, I love it. I'm glad Clay told me about it. Check him out, Coon Trucking. Like I said, Clay and I checked. Clay and I talked about this for a couple of days, and then I went and got it. It took me a day to get it. I mean, they they ordered it. I had it the next day, and it's it's awesome. Just putting it in Clay's words, it's totally awesome. I, I, I'm going to enjoy having this light. It's got, you know, even even if I take it fishing with me, I'm going to, you know, be able to use it at night or whatever. And, and I don't know what else to say about it other than it's going to be a handy light. It's going to be handier than the one I got. It's a lot brighter. And I don't think you're going to tear it up. Like the only way you're gonna be able to tear this up, take a hammer to it. <coughs> so uh, that's that one. I appreciate it, guys. Hang with me. I'm trying to do the best I can with what I got and all that, all that other. So just bear with me. I'm working on. I'm working on this. It takes a little bit of time when you get in my position to get content and stuff out but I'm working on it love the light OEM AutoZone I'm not affiliated with either one can't beat it I don't think you can beat this with a stick I'm telling you now the price is right the price is going to be different everywhere I know no, no AutoZone is going to be the same uh, you know I couldn't order it off of OEM themselves. Uh, I had to go through all of them to get it. And my guy here, 
hooked me up. And that's all I'm going to say. He hooked me up. And I'm not affiliated with AutoZone. I'm not affiliated with OEM. I told him I was going to do a review. I was going to do an honest review. And I'll probably review it later on this summer or when it warms up outside on how much and how well I like it. But as of right now, I can see this thing coming in real handy. Just due to the fact of this sucker is bright. I mean bright. So, thanks Clay. Thanks to all my subscribers. Everybody out there that's going to check us out or look at this video. I hope I do you good. I hope I did it justice. I hope I did good. I don't even know if you can see me on this, so I'm trying. So, uh, yeah. The light, I recommend it. I really recommend this light. It comes in different sizes. Uh, I elected to go with the same size that Clay's got, which is this one. Uh, simple fact, I'm not, I think I can get this into more spaces than I can one of their great big huge long ones, okay? I'm into more like the lower, lower lights. A lower light is more my style. You can get it up underneath the dash if you have to. You can get it in the smaller spots in there underneath the hood or under a wheel well or, or whatever, you know, between transmission and a frame or whatever. This will do it. So with that being said, I'm going to end this. Thank you. I appreciate every one of you.